Um, I was writing adult short stories and I kind of fell into children's books sideways, not because I was trying to write things for my kids, but because I was bringing home stacks of books from the library and discovered how wonderful children's literature was becoming at the time when I had kids. And I discovered pretty darn quickly that I really liked writing for kids. Anything can happen in a kid's story. The lady at the corner grocery store can turn children into frogs, or the child can get three wishes and all the problems that go with three wishes. Another reason I've been able to write kids' books for a long time is that besides the, the novels, I started writing picture books. So I'll write a couple of novels or one novel, and then suddenly a whole bunch of picture I, uh, book ideas will come kind of flying out of my brain. In so many ways, it's like... I have been given this gift, and it's wrapped up in tissue paper. And I take the layer off, expecting to find it there, only there's another layer of tissue paper. So I take the next layer off, and oh darn, there's another layer. And in so many ways, even though in some ways I know I'm in control, in other ways it's like I'm taking off layer and layer until I find this perfect little story that was really there all along. That totally intrigues me. Well, you can sort of see that I don't write very neatly, and I am messy, and I do doodle all over the page. In fact, if you ever read The Prince of Tarn, you'll see that the trees take over the magical kingdom of Tarn, almost like the doodles take over my page. Um, after I've worked longhand for a while, then I do type it into the computer, but I always pull off hard copies, and I continually rewrite on hard copies 40, 50, 60 times, but I always keep the hard copies because sometimes what turns out, what ends up in your garbage can is the best stuff of all. Then I send it to my editor, and here we go again, rewrites. You know, they'll love it, but they'll always ask for rewrites, and slowly the story is building and building. But the fun part, of course, for me is when it's all done, and I begin to see the art. So I will get something like this, and I'll say something like, Ruth, I really love it. I, I love the dragon. I love the little girl. But do you think it would be even better if she was just a little bit older? And if Ruth agrees, she'll change the line on her face just a fraction, and like magic, she'll become an older child. And then, of course, the color gets added along the way. Three of Many Wishes of Jason Reed was the first book I ever published, ever had published, and it has to have been 25 years ago. And the other day, I got a letter from southern England from a kid. Every once in a while, I think, oh, I should move away and, and reinvent myself. I've been doing this for quite a few years. And then I just go out and I look at the mountains, and I think, no way. It's nice out here.